एवरीवन वेलकम टू वेदांतो नीट इंग्लिश आई एम दीक्षा कौशल योर केमिस्ट्री मास्टर टीचर एंड स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डू ऑर्गेनिक केमिस्ट्री लास्ट फाइव ईयर मोस्ट मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट प्रीवियस ईयर क्वेश्चंस सो आई यू ऑल रेडी फॉर द सेशन येस्टरडे वी कंप्लीटेड फिजिकल केमिस्ट्री and in organic chemistry and today we are going to do organic chemistry pyqs which are going to help you in neat examination as you all know that exams the questions the kind of questions that you ask you in the exam are quite repeated the topics are repeated the way of asking the questions are repeated and sometimes the exact question is repeated in your exams so guys pyqs are very important for you and that's why we have this series for you where today you did physics with shreya sir and now we are going to complete chemistry with diksha ma'am okay so guys are you ready for that let us wait for students to join in right and how's the josh How's the Josh students? How's the Josh everyone? Yes, green hearts in the chat box. Why the Josh is very less? The Josh should be high because I have given you proper time for rest right after your physics class. I have given you one and a half hour to take rest, and now I suppose that you guys are full energetic for this session as well. So are you all ready for this session? Super excited! Yes, how many of you are in love with the organic chemistry yes students how many of you are in love with organic chemistry how many of you are confident that i want all of you to pick up one paper to pick up one paper and write down on that paper that what are the topics that you are doing mistakes in because when you write down the what are the topics that you are doing mistake in that way that becomes something that you need to focus on these particular topics so now students we are going to complete organic chemistry and all all of you to answer me in the end of this session that what are the topics that you are lagging behind so that i with your help with both of us can improve those topics i'll give you some tips and tricks to improve those topics right okay for that i need to know what are the topics that you are doing mistake in yes everyone so are you all ready perfect perfect okay so let's start this session without wasting any time because this is the time is the most precious thing that you have now right okay so let us start this session let us start you like i love okay great we are both uh, all in love with organic chemistry let us do something for our love right okay so first question all of you i want you to answer the questions okay answer the questions whether it's correct or incorrect and if it is incorrect write it in your mistake notebook right okay so the first question is 2019 question students 2019 students 2019 question that is the number of sigma and pi bonds in pent 2 in 4i the number of thank you bachcha thank you we need your help that share this session with as much students as possible right as much student you can help that would be a great help to all of us right okay that is something that we demand from you right just share this session with as much student as much needy student as you can right okay so first is number of sigma and pi bonds in pent 2 in 4 in pent 2 in means 1 2 3 4 5 Pent two in, but just this means two in and four in, four one two three four four in, right? So how many sigma and pi bonds here? You have one two three hydrogen, one hydrogen, one hydrogen, or one two three four, one two one hydrogen. Here. Right? One two three four, one two three four, one two one hydrogen. Right? One hydrogen here. Right? In that way, the tetra valency of carbon is also completed. So that means how many sigma bonds you have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Right? Eleven sigma bonds. Is it? Yes. Eleven sigma bonds. How many pi bonds? Two. Only from pi bonds you can guess the answer. Only from pi bonds you could have guessed the answer because there are just two pi bonds. There is no need of calculating sigma bonds here. Right? Only from pi bonds you could have guessed the answer. Right? Okay. So next question here is. Need 2019 question that is that is the state of hybridization the state of hybridization C1 C3 C5 C6 of the hydrocarbon okay the state of hybridization 
of C2, C3, C5, C6 of the hydrocarbon this in the following sequence. Okay, tell me the answer. The state of hybridization of uh, C2 that means this one C2 has two sigma bonds that means the hybridization is sp. So how many of this has sp that one is eliminated from the answer right and to the C3 C3 has three sigma bonds wait wait how can it has three one two three it has just three it is just bonded to three bonds here how is that possible it should be ch2 yeah it should be ch2 it should be ch2 here not ch only right because it is it should be theta valency should be completed here so c3 has three sigma bonds that means sp2 hybridization right three sigma bonds that means not three one two three four sigma bonds that means sp3 hybridization right okay so the answer is going to be d so the answer is going to be d okay yes bacha Bacha, which answer I said wrong? Which answer I said wrong? Is it? Wait. Oh, oh, oh. Are, are, are. Yes, yes, yes. I said the answer wrong. Yes, definitely. So sorry about it, students. So sorry about it. Wait, wait, wait. The answer is 1, 2. It has 3 pi bonds. 2 pi bonds here in the alkyne. Right? And 1 pi bond here. It means it has 3 pi bonds in total. Not 2 pi bonds. So sorry about it. It has 3 pi bonds. And the sigma bonds here are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. It has 10 sigma bonds. So the answer is going to be B. Yes? Yes, it is B. Yes, thank you so much. Thank you so much for correcting me. Thank you so much for that. Okay, so the answer should be D. Right? So D is the correct answer. This should be it should be S, uh, CH2 here. Right? Okay. Tiki ji. Okay. Now, next question is, next question is, oh God, dogs are going to bark here, right? Dogs are going to bark. Now, NEE 2019 question, the IUPAC name of the compound. So, what is the IUPAC name of this compound? What is the IUPAC name of this compound? Right, you have, you have aldehyde here and you have ketone here. You have two things, that is aldehyde and ketone here. Now, let us see which should be given more priority. Right, which should be given more priority? Aldehyde should be the main group and one should be the uh, alternate group on ONE that is ketone should not be the main group here right so that from that can we say that it should be 1 2 3 4 5 6 okay in that case it becomes 3 ON 3 keto or 3 ON right 3 keto so this is wrong this is wrong right methyl methyl we have methyl is at second position 2 methyl, hex, it has 6 uh, atoms here, 5 enal or 4 enal, it is 5, 1, 2, 3, 5, it has 4 in, you have alkene at the 4th position, okay, so it is E and Al, Al is at the 1st position, that is the main group, so that would be, D will be the correct answer, okay, D is going to be the correct answer, right, okay, so now let us do the next question here, let us do the next question, let us do the next question, but uh, that is, that is this one. Now, is the next question that is, the correct structure of 2,6-dimethyl, the correct structure of 2,6-dimethyl, deck 4 -E, the correct structure of 2,6-dimethyl, deck 4 -E. right? It should have 10 carbon atoms in the main chain, where alkene should be on the fourth position, right? If we say alkene on the fourth position and on the second and sixth position, there will be methyl, okay? If I start with this one, one, two, three, four, right? In that case, the alkene is on the fourth position, second and sixth has methyl group. Yes, I think this should be the correct answer. Now let us check others. This cannot be the correct answer. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This cannot be the correct answer. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. This cannot be the correct answer. 1, 2, 3. So the answer is 
A is the correct answer here. Right? A is the correct answer here. Right, guys? So, here you have 2 and 6 position. You have methyl group. And on the 4th position, you have E. And uh, that's it. You have 10 carbon atoms. So, this is the correct answer. Okay? A is going to be the correct answer. Now, students, next question is the correct IUPAC name of the following compounds. 2022 question. The correct IUPAC name of the following compounds. So, these are basic IUPAC name questions. Okay, these are very simple, very easy. But don't worry, we are going to come to reactions as well. Right? Okay, the correct IUPAC name of the following compound is. Now, here always remember that alphabetical order is preferred. Right? Okay? So, this is our main group. And these are the substituents. These are the substituents. Right? Alcohol should have less priority. The number should be uh, uh, less priority. No. Alcohol should have less number here. Right? And that means lowest locant rule should be applied here. And students, here the alphabetical order should be uh, we should uh, follow uh, 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 alphabetical order. So that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And if I start from this side, 1, 2, 3, 4. Here it is 1, 2, 3. So we'll start from this side. Where I have 3 ol, where we have on the third carbon I have ol. Right, so this is eliminated. And on the fifth carbon, on the fifth carbon I have chloro. And on the first carbon, I have bromo. On the fourth carbon, I have methyl. So, this is the correct answer. Right? Okay? So, A is going to be the correct answer here. Right? What do you need to see? This is your main group. That should be the priority for you. Right? There should be less number for alcohol and also alphabetical order. You should write it in the alphabetical order. Right? You should write it in the alphabetical order. Even if students, there is, for example, they have asked you question something like this, okay. If here it is bromine and here it is chlorine. Now students are going to get confused. That ma'am, with alphabetical order, we have 1, 2, 3. If we follow alphabetical order, bromine should have less order. Then ma'am, 1, 2, 3, 4, this should be the numbering. Or should we prefer alcohol? There are two things. Ma'am, should we prefer that bromine should have less number or should we prefer that alcohol should have less number? So, always give priority to the functional group here. Right? After that, give priority to the alphabetical order. So, here I will write 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. But I will write it as 5 bromo. I will write it as 5 bromo, 5 bromo, 4 methyl, 4 methyl, 5 bromo, 1 chloro, 1 chloro, 4 methyl, then I have hexane, hexane 3 O. Okay, this should be the correct answer for that. Okay, so if they play you with that, okay, you have alphabetical order and the next option is the uh, priority order of the functional group. Always choose functional group over any substituent. Right, okay, yes, very good, very good, very good. Why am I raising this? Because that was just to make you understand that even if they, there is some uh, difference in that, you should be able to answer that. Right? Okay? So, Macha, the next question here is, a tertiary butyl carbocation. So, these are the questions from GOC, General Organic Chemistry. And if you know GOC, now most of the question you will be able to solve from Organic Chemistry. So, this is the tertiary butyl. Students, this is the tertiary butyl carbocation is more stable than secondary butyl carbocation. That means you have one, two tertiary butyl. You have this thing. You have tertiary, tertiary butyl carbocation. And next thing you have secondary butyl. That means CH3, CH3, right? And this is CH. CH, uh, that should be tertiary butyl, no? It should be CH2, should be CH2. 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, it should be H. Right? So that is tertiary and secondary. So now students, as this is tertiary, this, this is giving plus I effect from three sides, right? Plus I effect from three sides, right? It is plus I effect from just to this whole group here. So that means here we can say if you say secondary butyl, wait, 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 wait. It should be secondary butyl carbocation. 
So it should be second butyl means CH3, CH3, or you can write it here CH2, CH3, and this is positive, this is H. Right? This is positive. Okay? Something like this. Yes? Okay? So the answer will be because of Tashabuta is more stable than this. Why? Because of which of the following factors? By now, always you know this one thing that I have told you one thing that always apply this particular thing that is BARHM. Right? Okay? So firstly, there is no back bonding here. There is no aromaticity here. There is no resonance here. But if you see, there is hyperconjugation in these two structures. Right? Okay? So because of hyperconjugation, because of hyperconjugation, usually students write inductive effect here. Okay? Inductive effect is not the answer. The answer is hyperconjugation. Because hyperconjugation is given more priority as compared to inductive effect. So you will write the answer as hyperconjugation. Yes, okay. Next thing, students, we have the most stable carbocation among the following is the most stable carbocation. Students again apply Barhi here. Again apply Barhi here. Can you see any back bonding here? Can you see any back bonding here? No, we cannot see back bonding here. Can you see aromaticity here? Can you see aromaticity here? No aromaticity here. Can you see resonance? No resonance. Can you see hyperconjugation? Hyperconjugation, this has 3 alpha, right? This has 4 alpha, right? This has 2, 5 alpha and this has 2 alpha, right? So, because of hyperconjugation, C is going to be the correct answer, right? So, C is going to be the correct answer because of hyperconjugation of carbocation. Okay, always whenever they ask you the stability of intermediates, do not just directly apply anything, inductive effect resonance, no. Firstly, see from this factor, is there any back bonding? Is there any aromaticity? Is there any resonance? Okay, if these factors eliminate, then go to hyperconjugation. If there is no hyperconjugation, then there will be inductive effect. Okay, always the priority order is going to be this one. Now, next question is from qualitative and quantitative analysis that is NEET 2020. That is paper chromatography is an example of. Paper chromatography is an example of students. Paper, Bacha, you need to see my lecture for that because I can't explain your hyperconjugation in one minute. Paper, paper chromatography is, a, is an example of. It is an example of which kind of chromatography, adsorption, partition, thin layer chromatography, column chromatography. So students paper chromatography is an example, there were three types of chromatographies, right? Okay, right? So we have two types of mainly absorption and partition chromatography. In absorption chromatography, we studied thin layer chromatography. Right, where we had one this thin layer and then we studied column chromatography. Right, paper chromatography is a kind of partition chromatography. So the answer is going to be B, that is partition chromatography. Right, basically what we have, we have two kind of chromatography. One is adsorption, another is partition, another is partition. Right, and adsorption is further divided into thin layer chromatography and column chromatography. And partition is further, that is paper chromatography. So the answer is going to be B, that is partition chromatography. Right? Okay. Now, next we have, which of the, which, uh, the major product of the following chemical reaction? The major product of the following chemical reaction. Right? What will, what is going to be the major? Here you have peroxide here. Okay. That means anti-Markovnikov rule will be applied here. Anti-Markovnikov rule means that there will be the substitution. The substitution, we will say the addition will be on the, the addition will be on the, there will be addition on the more number of hydrogen atoms. The negative part will be added on more number of hydrogen atoms. Right? So, more out of this double bond, this has more number of hydrogen atom. So, here bromine will be added here and hydrogen will be added here. So, the answer becomes, the answer becomes this one. Okay? So, the answer becomes this one. This is the correct answer. 
right? Just apply anti Markovnikov rule. That's it. Okay? Simple questions. That is the it's neat 2021 question. Very simple question. Okay. Now, next part, students, we have just need to see what in the mechanisms, no, what we see in the mechanisms, that what is that particular step that they ask you, only then you will be able to answer the products here. Right? Next question is that need 2020 question. Which of the following alkene cannot be made in good yield by Wood's reaction? Okay, which of the following alkane cannot be made in good yield by Wood's reaction? So for this you need to know that Wood's reaction always forms symmetrical alkenes. Okay, it always forms symmetrical alkenes. And what is Wood's reaction students? Wood's reaction is Rx plus Na plus Rx give rise to Rr. Okay, so this is the alkane that is formed. So, N-hexane can be formed that is symmetrical. What about 2,3-dimethylbutane? What about 2,3-dimethylbutane? That is 1, 2, 3, 4. This is 2, 3. Okay. So, this is symmetrical. If I add something like this, if I add something like this, if this is the alkyl halide, I will be able to get this particular alkene. That means this alkene can also be formed from Wood's reaction. Heptane cannot be formed from Wood's reaction. Unsymmetrical alkene, that means even alkene and unsymmetrical alkene can be formed from Wood's reaction. So C is going to be the correct answer. That is your question from just three years back question. That is NEET 2020 question. Right? Okay? Very simple. Yes, everyone. Are you able to solve this? Very good. Now, next question, students, we have NEET 2019 question. NEET 2019 question, students. The alkane that gives only one monochloro product. That alkane which gives only one monochloro product. That means there is substitution. Only on that monochloro means there is no isomers of that are not formed. Right? On chlorination with Cl2 in presence of diffused sunlight. This means they are talking about free radical mechanism. They are talking about free radical mechanism. Okay? So for that, now let us see. For example, you have to, to draw all the structures here. Draw all the structures here. Let us draw 2, 2, di, 2, 3. This. Okay? Now here, if there is substitution, okay, if there is substitution, students, how do you solve these kind of questions? So if there is substitution of one chlorine, there can be substitution on this hydrogen, there can be substitution on this hydrogen, there can be substitution on this hydrogen and this hydrogen. So in this case, you will get two isomers of chlorinated, monochlorinated product will have two isomers. One, it can substitute this hydrogen. It can substitute this hydrogen. If it substitute this hydrogen or this or this or this, the product is going to be same. If it substitutes this hydrogen or this hydrogen, the product is going to be same. That means two kind of products can be formed from here. That means two kind of product can be formed from here. Right? Next is, next we have neopentane. Neopentane means you have this neo, neopentane 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, okay? So, this is neopentane. This is neopentane. So, neopentane, all the hydrogens are of same kind, right? All the hydrogens are of same kind. That means if it substitute here or here or here or here, the product is going to be same. That means here we will have monochlorinated product, just one isomer, right? Alkane that gives only one monochlorinated, that means if it replaces this side, this side, this side or this side, there is going to be the same product here. So answer is going to be neopentane, okay? Answer is going to be neopentane, okay students, right? Now what about n-pentane? If we talk about n-pentane and isopentane, if we talk about n-pentane, right? The task is jo not just to solve these questions, the task is to solve the similar question as well. Right? This is CH3, this is CH3, this is CH2, this is CH2, this is CH2. Now students see here, if it replaces this hydrogen, there will be different product. These two hydrogens will have same product. These two hydrogens are going to have same product, right? And this hydrogen is going to have different product. Means there is going to be 
three different isomers after monochlorination right three, three different products can be formed from monochlorination and what about isobutene what about isobut isopentene isopentane means isopentane means this one isopentane means this one right so here what you can have here you will have c this hydrogen replacement and this is going to have same product right this hydrogen replacement is going to have different product this hydrogen replacement is going to have different product and this hydrogen replacement is going to have different product that means one two three four kind of products can be formed from the monochlorination of this particular alkene right this is how you produce and this is how you get the correct answer they can ask you which can give what two kind of products which can give two different kind of products which can give three different kind of products right this is how you get the answer yes students okay now next we have next students we have this thing that is an alkene students an alkene on ozonosis an alkene on ozonolysis gives methanol methanol means ch3 c double bond oh now on ozonolysis of alkenes what happens we break this double bond and add double bond o okay and add double bond o to it so it is not giving us methanol we break this double bond and add double bond o this is or this is uh, this is ethanol this is ethanol methanol is this one. okay this is methanol right so this is giving us methanol this is giving us methanol so this is going to be the correct answer because this is giving us methanol break this double bond you will not get methanol break this double bond you will not get methanol right so the c part is giving you the methanol right so answer is going to be this one okay so the answer is going to be c here right okay so just break the double bond in alkene what happens just break the double bond and add break this double bond and add double bond or double bond over here add double bond or double bond over here that's it okay that's it now next question we have need 2019 question students the question says that an alkene on reaction with o3 right an alkene on reaction with o3 and zn h2 that means there is reductive ozonolysis right reductive ozonolysis gives propanone and ethanol so guys let us see it gives propanone propanone means 1 2 3 0 double bond o ch3 and it gives ethanol and it gives ethanol ch3 c double bond oh right so how this is formed students on reductive ozonolysis these two things are formed so these must be formed from the we, we, we must have formed this from this particular compound so how this is formed for example this is ch3 this is c this is ch3 this is double bond right this is double bond again this is ch3 this is c this is this is c this is h and this is double bond now just do the reverse of that what do you do just eliminate this oxygen from here and attach these two ox these carbons by double bond that is your initial reactant so the reactant is going to be ch3 ch3 double bond double bond ch ch that was your initial reactant okay which on reductive ozonosis gave this particular product right which on reductive ozonosis gave this particular product so students what do you need to do because th these time kind of questions have high probability these kind of questions have high probability that they will ask you these kind of questions right so how you do these kind of questions you just need to do one thing here just need to do one thing here that this double bond o and this double bond o should be eliminated and you should bind these two molecules together with a double bond okay in place of double bond o you should have double bond only 
right in place of double bond o you should combine these two molecules with a double bond that's it okay from this particular carbon from this carbon and from this carbon you will get the reverse of that you will get the reactant right now they are saying this way the hcl this way the hcl gives you something what is that what is that something when you have no peroxide here there is no addition of hcl to alkene gives b as a major product so just apply markovnikov rule here apply markovnikov rule here after applying markovnikov rule that says that negative part is on the less number of less number of hydrogens right negative part is on the less number of hydrogens so this negative part is added here this negative part is added to this carbon right so just uh, this is going to be the product here negative part is added here there should be cl here the bond is broken we have uh, the bond is broken now now after that this is ch we break this bond and this is ch3 this is ch1 2 3 4 and here it will be ch2 so this is going to be your final answer now what they asked you that on reductive ozonosis you had these two products what is that reactant and that reactant is further reacted with hcl now tell us what is the product that is formed here so this is your correct answer let us see let us let us see what is the correct answer ch3 ch2 ch3 ch3 ch2 ch3 so d is going to be the correct answer here right very good d is going to be the correct answer here yes students yes students okay perfect are you able to solve this question because this is a very important question this is a very important question very important question repeatedly they ask questions from ozonosis repeatedly you will see the questions from ozonosis repeated questions so are you able to solve this question if in a, if, if in exam you see this question you will be able to solve this right everyone right everyone this is very important very important yes okay shall we move ahead shall we move ahead with another question yes students okay now answer this the most suitable reagent for the following conversion is for the following conversion the most suitable reagent here is the most suitable reagent is going to be you are converting this you are converting alkyne to cis alkene for cis alkene it uses for cis alkene is uses hydrogenation which is poisoned by quinoline or bso4 anything it will be poisoned by this the rate of reaction will be slowed by this right so this is going to be c that is lindlar's catalyst we use lindlar's catalyst we use lindlar's catalyst for cisalkene and everyone in the chat box if they ask you about the transalkene if they ask you about the transalkene if you have to convert alkyne to transalkene then what will be the correct answer you have to be ready or not only for a uh, exact question but the question related to that also right so how you convert alkyne to transalkene the answer what is the what is that reagent that you use the name of the reaction is birch reduction the name of the reaction is birch reduction and the reagent that you use is sodium or lithium in presence of nh3 right okay that is the reagent that you use here right that is very good that is going to give us transalkene yes very good very good very good yes if there is if there is transalkene the answer is going to be b very good students very good now we have next next is among the following reactions among the following reaction among the following the reaction that produce through a electrophilic substitution is now here this is a very simple question but only those students will be able to solve this who have some idea about what is like who have conceptual knowledge here right who are not able who are just cramming things and you know cramming the formulas they won't be able to solve this right so here students you have one by one tell you everything so here you have heat and hcl and ch2h here you have replaced oh with cl okay 
Yes. So they are asking you the electrophilic substitution reaction. Electrophilic substitution. There should be any electrophile here. Okay. There should be some electrophile here. That is substituted. Right. That electrophile. Electrophile means positive so it should be substituted. Here the Cl. Cl negative is substituted here. That means this is a nucleophilic substitution. So this is not the correct answer. Uh, here it is, it's, it's, N2 is eliminated from here. Again, not the correct answer. Here we have, this is Lewis acid and this is Cl2. This Cl is going to get into this uh, because this AlCl3 is very, like, very electron deficient. So it is going to gain the Cl here and it will get converted to this one and it will produce this electrophile. This is our electrophile. So this is going to be the electrophilic substitution reaction that is Friedel-Craft reaction. Right? Okay, again, this is Friedel, this is a free radical mechanism. Right? This is free radical mechanism. Very important reaction. This is a very, very important reaction. It's also a very important reaction. Okay? If you have Cl2, you will like, with benzene, all the bonds are going to get broken here. Right? And you will get Cl. All the bonds will be break and there will be Cl substitution on all the carbon atoms here. Right? Okay? Yes, students. Next, we have the given compound in a, is an example of, the given compound is an example of this thing. Benzylic, aryl, allylic, vinylic. Very simple. Let us see how many of you answer this simple question. Because, you know, silly mistakes should be avoided. There should be no silly mistakes. The question is very simple. Even if you ask, answer this incorrectly, that means you know the answer, but you are answering it incorrectly. That means there is some kind of lag in the concentration. There is lag in the, you know, sincerity. Right? You are just running, running, running. That should not be the same. Right? Very good. The answer is allylic halide. Why allylic halide? Because see, this is halogen. This is CH. This, now, usually what students do? In rush, they write it here, benzylic. No, benzylic is not the correct answer. Benzylic is this thing. Benzylic is this thing. Benzylic is this thing. Okay, this is a ryl. This is a ryl. This is a ryl halide. This is a ryl halide. This is benzylic. And what is vinylic? This is benzylic. This is anilic. Vinylic, sorry. This is vinylic. This is vinylic. This is vinylic. This is uh, benzylic. And this is arylic. Okay, so here the answer is going to be allylic. Right? When we have the halogen that is uh, connected to that carbon atom that is further connected to sp2 hybridized carbon atom which has double bonds right okay with that i have one more thing for you that mno2 mno2 is that oxidizing agent that works only for benzylic only for benzylic and allylic and allylic Alcohols. Okay. Now, next thing here. We have next question. 2022 question. 2022. Just two years back. Which one of the following sequence of reaction is suitable for synthesis? Chlorobenzene. Very simple. Very simple. Which is suitable for synthesis of chlorobenzene here? How to synthesize chlorobenzene? How to synthesize? Which of the following? Here if I add HCl, no chlorobenzene will be uh, made here. No chlorobenzene here. Right? Okay. Phenol, NA, NO2, HCl, so no chlorobenzene here. Right? Benzene, Cl2, and hydrous, this. This will lead to chlorobenzene. Right? Okay? So this will lead to chlorobenzene. That is Friedel-Craft alkylation. Friedel-Craft alkylation. Right? Friedel-Craft alkylation. That is the correct answer. Yes, that is the correct answer. Next students, we have the major product formed in dehydro. This should be dehydro. Dehydro halogenation reaction of 2-bromopentane. Pentane, you have this pentane. Right? 2-bromo means there should be bromine here. 2-bromopentane. 2-bromopentane is pent to it. 2 pent 2 in. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, pent 2 in. This should be pent 2 in. 
what is happening here you have this 2 bromopentane now here you have dehydrohalogenation that means br is eliminated from this side br negative and here also you have this one hydrogen that is eliminated that is eliminated right there is dehydrohalogenation that is according to see hydrogen can be eliminated see this thing very important very important very important so I know you have answered it. Now all the students who were not able to answer this for those students. This is CH2, this is CH2, this is CH3. See, we know that bromine will be eliminated from this side. Now we have two things here. Hydrogen can be eliminated from this one or this one. Right? But the hydrogen is eliminated from this side, from this side. Why so? What was the reason? The reason was to get according to Setzef rule, to get more highly substituted alkene. Right? To get more highly substituted alkene, that is according to the Setzef rule. Right? Okay? If the answer is this thing, if the answer is this thing, if the answer is C double bond C1234. This will be according to Hoffman rule. This will be according to Hoffman rule. Right? But now this is not asked to you. Only this is asked to you. That is according to ZZF. That is according to ZZF. Right? Okay? Yes, students. Next students we have. Next students we have. Need 2020 question. That is elimination of 2 bromopentene to form. Again the same question here. See that was asked in. 2021 right the same question is asked in 2020 so this is the proof that questions are repeated but the form of question is totally changed right the form they ask you the question that is totally different here right so here they are asking that you have converted two bromopentane to this one now what kind of things there will be there will be beta elimination obviously there is beta elimination because this is bromine and this is hydrogen. Now this is beta elimination. The, 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 the uh, hydrogen is eliminated from the beta side. That is beta elimination reaction. Yes. It follows Setzef rule. Yes. It is dehydrohalogenation. Yes. Is it dehydration? No. Right. So answer is going to be A, B, C are the correct answers. So A is going to be the overall. The answer is going to be A here. Right. Okay. So now let us see the next question. The hydrolysis. Let us see who answers this question correctly. 2019. The hydrolysis reaction that takes place at the slowest rate. Slowest rate. That means that doesn't want to react. Out of these, which doesn't want to react. Which is very difficult to take place. You have this. Here what is the, what is what we are doing. Here this CCL bond is getting break. Right? We are breaking this CCL bond. We are breaking this CCL bond here. Here we are breaking this CCL bond. Here we are breaking this CCL bond. Out of this, which CCL bond is difficult to break? Yes, very good. Which bond is difficult to break? This bond is very difficult to break. What is the reason students answer? Because assertion reasoning questions can also be asked. Now they have asked you this question in 2019 in this format. They can also ask you the same question. In the form of assertion reasoning. That this question. Why this is the slowest step. The answer can be. What will be the correct answer sir. What will be the reason for that. What is going to be the reason students. Why this is very slow. First thing is that. That it has double bond character. That it develops double bond character. Because of resonance here. Right. Second is phenyl cation. When it loses Cl, the phenyl cation that is formed is very less stable. This is not stable. Phenyl cation is unstable. Phenyl cation is unstable. That is why this bond is not, you know, difficult to break. Next, students, directly attached to benzene ring. Yes. Next reason here that this dissolved double bond character. Now we'll say. In aromatic or you say in aryl halides, we have carbon is sp2 hybridized, okay? This is sp2 hybridized. So these are the reason why this is the slowest step. This is the slowest reaction here, right? Okay, yes. So assertion reasoning question can also be asked from these kind of questions. 
right so always be prepared whenever you see previous year question not only see the previous year question because okay we are we, okay just this is the a part this is the b part no that's not how pyqs are repeated pyqs are repeated the statements are changed the way of asking the question is different the concept will be same right so always always whenever you go through pyqs always take it in your mind that how differently this question can be asked right so now you have need 2020 question that is reaction between acetone and methyl magnesium followed by hydrolysis right acetone and acetone you have ch3 c double bond o ch3 and bacha you have grignard's reagent that is methyl magnesium right you have ch3 mg br methyl magnesium chloride okay mgcl whatever it is doesn't matter to us okay so now what happens here <coughs> this is a mb5 you know that carbon c double bond o carbonyl group is a mb5 students so what will happen here this particular this carbon here this is the oxygen okay this carbonyl group is an mb5 here you know this is less elect this is electropositive this is electronegative so this is in organometallic compounds metal is more electropositive that is the reason here it is electropositive here it is electronegative only in case of organometallic compounds in the whole chemistry only in case of organometallic compounds you have negative charge on the carbon atom right on the alkyl you group you have the negative charge here right why because this is in comparison this metal so it will attack on this side these electrons are going to jump here right this is going to happen so but charge this is going to be 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 that center where ch3 attacks here so let us do the attack here this is going to attack here the electrons are going to jump here and then you will have the formula so see if you know this particular thing you will be answer you will be able to answer this one also okay now in the previous year question they also ask you lots of question based on grignard reagent based on hcn these questions are also important for biomolecules right that is why that is why i am you know giving importance to this one so this is ch3 this is co negative and this is ch3 this is ch3 and this will be mgcl right okay this is positive here now after hydrolysis you will get c ch3 after hydrolysis students what you will get everyone here this MgCl will be replaced by alcohol. This MgCl will be replaced by alcohol and you will get the this as the final product here. You will get this as the final product here. Right? So what will be the correct answer? The correct answer is going to be third butyl alcohol. Okay? The answer is going to be third butyl alcohol. That C is the correct answer. Also, when you say, ma'am, we don't know how to name this, ma'am, IUPC naming, ma'am, what is this? How to name this? See, students, what is ISO, what is NEO? See, ISO is this thing, when carbon is attached to two methyl groups directly. Okay, when I talk about isobutyl, that means there will be total four carbon atoms. Right, so I will write it here, CH and this will be isobutyl. This is isobutyl. When we talk about isopentane, isopentane. Isopentane is this. This is isobutane. This is isobutane. What is isopentane? Carbon is connected to two CH3 groups here. Right? And then we have to complete five carbons here. So this was 1, 2, 3, 1, 1 2, 3, 4 and 5. So this is going to be your iso, isopentane. Okay? And what is new everyone? What is new? Neo is nothing but this one. Neo is nothing but you have CH3, CH3, CH3. Now, if I talk about neopentane, that means I, I have to complete five carbons here. Right? So, this is five carbons here. This is neopentane. Now, what about neohexane? What about students? What about neohexane? The carbon is connected to three methyl groups in neo. Okay? Three methyl groups in neo. 3 methyl groups here and then we have to complete 6 carbons here. 3, 4, this is 5 and this is 6. 
right? So these are the things that you must always take care of. That what is ISO, what is new, what is secondary, what is tertiary. Okay, students? Yes? Shall we move to the next question here? Yes, students, shall we move to the next question? Carbon have alkyl group? No, is also. Uh, second last, carbon have alkyl group? No. As, uh, sorry, I didn't get you. What you are saying? Second, second last carbon, second last carbon has this, this, this. Can you please elaborate that, Pucha? Okay. Now we have need 2019 question that is the structure of intermediate A in the following reaction. The structure of intermediate A in the following reaction very very important. Very 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 important. Again a trending question. A trending question from alcohol, phenols and ethers. Can you name this process everyone? Can you name this process everyone here? What is this called? What is, the, what is the name of this compound? What is the name of this compound? Very important compound that is called anyone here, anyone, anyone wants to answer this. Very important compound that is called, that I am waiting for your answer. I am waiting for your answer. What is that? What is very good? Peroxide linkage, very good. What is that compound called? What is that compound called? Yes, everyone, try to answer it. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Very good. The answer is, here it is called, bacha, this is cumin and this process is called cumin process. Right? So, cumin is nothing but isopropyl, isopropyl benzene. Right? You have isopropyl group on the benzene ring that is called cumin. Very important process of formation of uh, uh, phenol. And you know the byproduct here is also very important. They ask you a question from the byproduct also. Again, this question is repeated so many times in different different forms. So this is the phenol that is formed, and the acetone is the byproduct here. The byproduct that is formed is also very important here, right? So now next thing is cumin. When we add oxygen here, what happens? There is peroxide linkage, and that is the product that is formed. This is the peroxide. That means the hydrogen here. Earlier you had this thing, earlier you had this thing, earlier you had this thing, like this is the benzene. What happens on adding hydrogen? This hydrogen has no peroxide linkage, that means it is converted to OOH. It has peroxide linkage, so answer is going to be C. Again a very important question, okay? Again a very important question. You will see in your last, uh, especially last five years, last five years, this question is repeated again and again so many times, right? Okay, so now next question, as I'm telling you, first thing is ozonolysis, very important, so many questions are there. Grignal reagent, so many questions are asked from Grignal reagent, then there is cumene process, so many questions are asked from this, right? So when vapors of secondary alcohol is passed over, okay, so now what is copper at 573 Kelvin or 300 degrees Celsius. Now anyone wants to answer this? After this I will highlight this because again copper has some different things. Okay, so, copper oxidizing agent, you should know how the oxidizing agent, how different different oxidizing agent behaves, right? Okay, yes students, how different different oxidizing agents behave? The answer is going to be yes, C, C, very good. Okay, now everyone here tell me this thing, okay. Now everyone here tell me this thing because our motto is not to do just the PYQs. Our motto is to gain marks in NEET examination. For that, every PYQ, I'll see that all the questions revolving around that PYQs that can be asked to you in the NEET 2024 exam, I will definitely cover that. Okay, so students see this, if you have mild oxidizing agents, if you have strong oxidizing agents and if you have copper, so see, very simple trick to do this, okay, you have 1 degree, you have 2 degree, you have 3 degree, here also you have 1 degree, you have 2 degree, you have 3 degree, here also you have 1 degree, you have 2 degree, you have 3 degree. Now you have these three things here, right? 1 degree, 2 degree, 3 degree. When we talk about mild oxidizing agents, that will convert 1 degree alcohol to 1 degree alcohol to aldehyde, 2 degree alcohol to ketone and 3 degree alcohol will have 
no effect here. Right? Three degree alcohol will have no effect. When we talk about strong oxidizing agents, everyone here, when we talk about strong oxidizing agents, that will convert one degree alcohol to carboxylic acid. Carboxylic acid, right? To carboxylic acid. 2 degree alcohol will be converted to ketone only. There is no further oxidation here, right? So it will be ketone only. 3 degree will have no reaction even after uh, strong oxidizing agent. What about copper? Now everyone, what about copper? This behaves little different from the rest, right? It will behave as 1 degree, it will behave as mild only for 1 degree and 2 degree. That means 1 degree to aldehyde, 1 degree to aldehyde, 2 degree to ketone and what about 3 degree alcohol? There is high prediction that they can ask you question from 3 degree alcohol. When you, when the reaction of copper with 3 degree alcohol, what is the answer that is formed? What is the answer? The answer is very important that is alkene is formed here. Okay, very important. Alkene is formed in this. Okay, if you remember these three things, you will be able to solve any question related to uh, oxidation of alcohols, right? And what are the mild oxidizing agents? Mild oxidizing agents, students like PCC, PDC, like PCC, PDC, right? And what about uh, strong oxidizing agents like Jones reagent in presence of H2SO4, not in presence of acetone. If the H2SO4 is not present in Jones region, that will be considered as mild oxidizing agent. And this is only one that is copper at 300 degrees Celsius or you can say copper at 573 Kelvin. Okay, yes students, very good, done this. So, in NEE 2019, this question was asked, high probability that they can ask you any question from this chart, okay. From this chart, they can ask you so many questions. Right? Okay? Yes. KMNO4, K2Cr27, very good. They are very good oxidizing agents. Yes? We have also studied the name in DNF block. Right? Okay? Now, next question we have. Any soul on cleavage with HI gives? Any soul again? Any soul. That means they are talking about this thing. They are talking about this particular compound. That is OCH3. Right? Any soul... On cleavage with o, with HI. Now see this. Which bond can you break? Which bond can you break? You can break only this bond. This bond, the carbon oxygen bond, has double bond character. That is why this bond is very difficult to break. Otherwise, you can also have this phenyl cation will be formed. So, this bond is difficult to break. That is why you will break this bond and you will have two things here that is phenol and CH3I. You will have two things here that is phenol and CH3I is the correct answer. So, A is going to be the correct answer. Next students, we have 2019 question that is the compound that is most difficult to protonate. The compound that is very difficult to protonate. Very difficult to protonate means that is a weak base, right? The compound that is a weak base. Let us find out which is a weak base, okay? Let us try to find out which is the weak base, students. Very good, very good. So, very good, Pandu. Very good, very good. Manas, Nancy, Santini, Ram, very good Bacha, Dishu, Bala, very good. Clapping for you. So guys, let us see which is the weak base. We know here the oxygens are involved in the resonance, okay. Here it is involved in the resonance. They are involved in the resonance. That is why we say if they are involved in the resonance, the lone pairs have less availability and always I told you that basic strength, basic strength is directly proportional to the availability, the availability of, the availability of lone pairs. The availability of lone pairs, okay. Here the availability of lone pairs is less, that is why this is a weak base, that is why it is very difficult for this particular to accept the H positive ion, otherwise we do not have any resonance in all the other structures here, right, okay. 
So from this question only I'll ask you one question here. Now tell me which is a better basis. Which is a better basis. Because questions are asked from a means related to either Hinsberg test, either uh, uh, nitrous test, either basicity. These three questions are asked from a means. Right? Okay. So now tell me very simple question here. Let us see who is able to answer this. Which is a good base? This is A, this is B. This is A, this is B. Now which is a better base? Which is a strong base? Which is a strong base? Out of these two, which is a strong base? And what is the reason behind that? The reason is same. The availability of loan pair defines the basicity here. Now let us see which is the availability of loan pair. This question will be asked. Is basicity. The questions based on basicity will be asked to you. Based on acidity will be asked to you. Right? Okay, which is a better base? Very good. Ha now here, loan pair is not involved in the delocalization. But this loan pair is involved in the delocalization. But this loan pair is involved in the delocalization. So the loan pair that is involved in the delocalization. Here it is involved in the delocalization. Right? Here it is not involved in. Not involved. Here it is not involved. That means it is available. So this will be a better base as compared to this. B is going to be a good base. Right? Okay? Yes. Very good. Very good students. Next question we have. The major product C and D formed in the following reactions. The major product or the major product C and D formed in the following reaction respectively. Okay. Again you have excess of HI. Now always remember this is ether. You have excess of HI. You don't have just one molecule of HI. You have excess of HI. So firstly with less HI. With less HI. For example if I say with one HI molecule. What will be formed? What will be formed? Right? What kind of alkyl halide will be formed and what kind of alcohol will be formed? Yes, students, what kind of alkyl halide will be formed and what kind of alcohol will be formed? After excess of that, the OH group will be replaced by I only. So answer is going to be A. Okay, because we have excess of HI. Right, with excess of HI, the other molecule OH will be replaced by hydrogen only. So answer is going to be A. See, you have this thing. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, you have this thing. Now, firstly what will happen? For example, this bond is going to get, uh, you will have this, uh, this, alkyl halide and this is going to be alcohol. Now after that this OH is going to get replaced by the iodine molecule here. Right? So you will have both groups as Ri and Ri. Right? Okay? Yes students? Next question that you have is consider the following reaction and identify the product P. HBr is given to you. Now to answer this question you should know what is the mechanism that is involved here. To know the mechanism, just see this question. You have OH here. Okay, you have OH here. So these kind of question, I would say these kind of question that is asked in NEED 2023. They actually, no cramming, nothing can work here. No cramming, nothing can work here. All you need is full conceptual knowledge of organic chemistry. How organic chemistry works, okay? How organic chemistry works? This is H positive, this is negative. This is going to get give H positive here. And what is the nature of H positive? H positive is electron deficient. If it sees lone pair anywhere, it will get substituted there. Okay, that means this has lone pair here. This H positive is going to attack here or you can say you can never put the arrow from positive to negative. You can say these lone pair are going to get attracted to this electron deficient species. Right? And here it will attack here. There will be, if I write it here, this will be C, C, this will be C, this is OH, this is C, this is C. Right? So this is going to be H positive Br negative. This is going to attack on this one. Or you can say it will it will be CH2, this is positive. Because now the lone pair is given to the hydrogen atom. That means it will be electron deficient. Now what is the nature of this kind of when you have something attached o, OH2, right? The nature of this is now oxygen is electron negative. It wants its, its electron back. So it will be 
it will give its the electron back to this one and here it will be C, 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 this is C and here it will be carbocation, right? Now, bachcha, will there be any rearrangement here? Will there be any rearrangement here? Tell me. Yes, there is going to be rearrangement because this is 2 degree carbocation, right? I have to rearrange it. Okay, I have to rearrange it because if I get this thing, if I get, if I, if there is hydride shift here, if this hydrogen is shifted here, I will have a 3 degree carbocation and if I am getting more stable carbocation, if I am getting more stable carbocation from 2 degree, I am getting 3 degree carbocation, then what is the loss in that? I am getting more stable carbocation. So here, very important thing is that you should know the nature here. What when you have OH, OH group, when you have H positive, that is going to attack on this OH, right, on the lone pair of oxygen, and then you will, the OH2 will be eliminated here. And after that, you get this carbocation that will be rearranged. Then, bacha, you will have this another negative charge that is Br will be, uh, Br will attack here, and then you will get this product then you will get this product that is this one that is D is the correct answer yes students D is the correct answer yes students after PYQs I am going to start don't worry I'll share the plan with you tomorrow okay I'll share the whole plan with you tomorrow so D is going to be the correct answer here yes no 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 don't do Markovnikov addition or anti-Markovnikov addition. There is no double bond involved here. There is no Markovnikov, anti-Markovnikov group here. Right? No double bond is present here. This is simple mechanism based question. That is, here the intermediate form is carbocation. If you don't know what is the intermediate form, you won't be able to solve the answer. Right? Here the intermediate involved is the carbocation. There will be rearrangement of carbocation. Only then you will get the desired product here. Okay, that is why I say organic chemistry is all about solving, is all about practicing, right? We are going to solve a lot of questions of organic chemistry as well in the coming days, right? Again, next question is NEED 2023 question. NEED 2023 question, complete the following reaction. Everyone here, complete the following reaction you have. Carbonyl group here, where HCN you have O, O, O. Wow! Now, what should be the answer? Everyone here, what should be the correct answer? Right? From this, let us see. Okay, let us see you have this thing. Let us see you have this particular thing. Right? This is the compound you have. And you have HCN. H, CN. H positive, CN negative. Now, this is a carbonyl group that is a mb5 right this is positive charge this is negative this is partially positive this is partially negative the negative is going to attack on this carbon the electrons are going to jump here like similar that we did in case of grignard reagent same as grignard reagent we are going to get this answer that is this is the ring cyclo exile ring here this is o negative and this is h this is cn this is CN. And what about H positive? H positive will be substituted here and it will be OH. Right? And this is your answer. Now after that, what you added here? What you added here? Concentrated H2SO4. Now concentrated H2SO4 is added here. What is the function of concentrated H2SO4? Why H concentrated H2SO4 is very famous? This is a very good dehydrating agent. Remember this, this is a very famous dehydrating agent. That means it is going to dehydrate water. It is a very famous dehydrating agent. That means it is going to dehydrate the molecule. It is going to eliminate water from here. How it is going to? OH negative will be eliminated from this side. There must be any H positive here and H positive will be eliminated from this side and this bond is going to shift here. The electrons are going to shift here and hence you will have this type of structure here that is C. Okay, this will be the correct answer 
So let us write the correct answer here. Right? Oh, this is also a very good oxidizing agent. So also write one thing here. That is, there will be COH here. Okay? So that will be, C is going to be the correct answer. Right? Why I have written, why? H2SO4 is a very good dehydrating agent and it is also a very good oxidizing agent. So it is going to dehydrate from this side and because of concentrated H2SO4 it is also going to also very good oxidizing agent and hence it is going to oxidize this. Okay, hence it is going to oxidize this and you will have this kind of, this will be CO2, very good oxidizing agent, dehydrating and a very good oxidizing agent. Okay. A very good oxidizing agent. Right. Okay. CN convert to this. Yes. Very good. Right. So this was the action of concentrated H2SO4. Next question students we have. Next question is. Ne 2022 question that is, which one of the following is not formed when acetone reacts with pent to, to pentanone in the presence of dilute NaOH followed by heating? Now everyone in the comment section, what will be the reaction here? What should be the reaction here? Whether it's uh, aldol condensation, it's canizaro, it's cross aldol, it's cross canizaro. Right, we have definitely it is something aldehyde and ketones, and this is two ketones, two different, so it is going to be cross. This is going to be cross, and this is because it is a it has alpha hydrogen, so that is going to be cross aldol condensation. Right, so everyone, let us see how you write the aldol condensation products. Okay, how you write the aldol condensation products here. See, you have. 2 pentanone, 2 pentanone and you have acetone, right? The products are CH3, C double bond O, CH3. Now you have 2 pentanone, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 2 pentanone. This is CH3. This is why drawing the hydrogens here is very important. This is uh, CH2, CH2, CH3. So what is the trick here everyone? The trick is very simple. There is simple trick to this, okay? There is very simple trick to this. The simple trick is, firstly, <clears throat> when you have cross and dual products, right? So, how we are going to make the product, okay? How we are going to make the product? So, this is a time-consuming question. <clears throat> this is a time-consuming question. So, what do you do? Firstly, take one molecule as the main molecule and other as the alpha molecule. So, this one molecule from one molecule from one molecule alpha carbonyl group will be taken and from from one molecule carbonyl group will be taken and from the other molecule alpha group will be taken alpha carbon so what you do combine these two combine the carbonyl group from one molecule and alpha carbon from the other molecule right so what i do do here this is carbon this is ch3 this is ch3 Right, this is CH3, this is C double bond, right? Okay, then you have this carbon, this is the alpha carbon, right? It has eliminated two hydrogens from here. This is CH, this is C double bond O, this is CH2, this is CH2, this is CH3. This is going to be your first product. This is the first product here. Now with the second product you have, for the second product I do, that this is your... This is your carbonyl only. But here you have two alpha carbons. This is also alpha. This is also alpha. So here I have taken this as alpha. Here I will take this as the alpha carbon. Right? Okay? So what I do here? Here you have this carbon. It has CH3. It has CH3. This carbon has CH3, CH3. Again it has double bond. O will be eliminated. Right? Now attach this carbon with the alpha carbon here. This is the alpha carbon. It has two hydrogens here. Eliminate two hydrogens from alpha hydrogen. The trick is same for all the things, right? Okay. So here CH2 and this is connected to C double bond O CH3. This is also connected to CH2 CH3. This is going to be the second product here. This is going to be the second product here. 
right are you able to draw the product yourself students are you able to draw the product yourself now let us draw the third part here let us draw the third part here wait 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 okay what about the third part here students the third part is that now i am taking this as the carbonyl group and this as the alpha so here both the alphas are same this is also ch3 this is also ch3 so it doesn't matter the product will be same right so this is going to be firstly write this one this is c this is ch3 this is ch2 right c ch3 ch2 ch2 right then we have this is carbonyl attached to this double bond and attached to this ch3 right okay now this carbonyl eliminate the oxygen from here this will be attached to the alpha carbon here alpha carbon here eliminate two hydrogens from here right then you have c double bond o then you have ch3 this is your third product right this is your third product here right okay okay students this is your th third product now bachcha are you able to draw this or not ha huh? are you able to draw this or not are you able to draw this bachcho are you able to draw this ma'am please answer my question i should not answer this question because neat forms is up like are you sleeping or hot now students next question here we have this one in this question okay i do the self self aldol here okay self aldol that is ch3 in cross aldol it there will also be self aldol with the same molecule right okay so here what i'll have i'll take one as i'll take one as student see very important question this is a very very important question this is high chances that aldol condensation will be asked to in the exams okay so take this as the carbonyl take this as the alpha right now make the product here this is ch3 this is c then this is ch3 attached to this this is double bond again it is c this has uh, minus h2 here this is c double bond right this is ch3 right this is going to be your fourth product here right this is going to be your fourth product here right okay yes next question students now you have not question next next part now do the self aldol from this one okay do the self aldol for this one c double bond o this is ch2 ch2 ch3 here the self aldol products will also be different okay if i take this as the main product if i take this as a carbonyl there can be this as alpha or this as alpha right with both the alphas i have different different groups i have different different answers here right so the answers that i can have this is ch3 this is c this is uh, ch2 this is ch2 this is ch3 this is double bond this double bond is connected to this alpha here if this is alpha 1 this is alpha 2 with alpha 1 you will have this thing with alpha 1 you will have ch c double bond o right ch2 ch2 ch3 right this is the fifth product that you can have the sixth product here is if you have this as the alpha c double bond o right or you can say uh this is a uh, ch3 ch2 ch2 c ch3 okay i just the 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 way i am writing this is just different everything else is say ch3 ch3 ch2 c okay this is connected to this double bond here now this this carbon is connected to the alpha number 2 the alpha number 2 right and that is going to be the alpha number 2 that is going to be c eliminate h2 here then you will have c right okay then it is connected to c wait 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 the sulfa is connected to c and this is further connected to c double bond o and ch3 and here it is connected to this sulfa is connected to ch2 ch3 ch2 ch3 so this is going to be your sixth product right 
so these are the six products that you will get okay these are the six products that you will get here right okay so you will get six products here yes everyone is this clear to all of you then just tell me these six products here just you know tell me these six products here and then you will get the answer yes students were you able to solve this or not because this is a very very important trick for you very very important trick right so they are asking you which of the following is not formed so this was not formed here you can just tell me that and you will get your answer right okay yes students okay perfect 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 now see these six products will be formed here mm -hmm. now the six uh, next question we have next question we have need 2020 question identify compounds x in the following sequence of reactions now you have this sequence again a very simple question you have ch3 now here you have free radical mechanism when you have heat or uv light you have free radical mechanism with free radical mechanism which will be substituted the high chances this to student know that this cannot be the answer you will get confused either with this one or with this one that is my idea right okay what is the doubt bachcha what is the doubt what doubt you have yes you have C is this product. Okay, the product is this one. That is C. Two hydrogen atoms will be eliminated here. This is the X, right? Then after uh, addition of water and warming it, you will have the formation of benzaldehyde, right? Okay. So C is going to be the correct answer. I know you will get confused in B and C. I know that you will get confused in B and C. That's why I already told you that student will get confused here or here. Some of the students will also get confused here, and this the student always know that this is not the correct answer. But out of this, this is the correct answer. Two hydrogens will be replaced here, right? Now, next question here is reaction between benzaldehyde and acetophenone in the presence of dilute NaOH is known as reaction between benzaldehyde, bacha, between benzaldehyde. This is benzaldehyde. And acetophenone, and acetophenone, and acetophenone. Okay, CO CH two, right? So this is called cross aldol condensation, right? This is called cross aldol condensation. So answer is going to be D is the correct answer here. Yes, everyone. Okay, very simple, right? Very simple. Okay, yes, students. so how you made the product here how you made the product so this is your for example the product formation is again simple here c double bond o h right and then you have this thing here. c double bond o ch so this is your alpha this is this is your carbonyl and this is your alpha just add these two things here for example this is phenyl this is regarded as phenyl this is c This is H here, double bond that is added to so that is combined with this alpha. That is this. Eliminate the alpha. Alpha from alpha carbon two hydrogens are eliminated here. Right? This will be hydrogen. This will be C double bond. Oh, again this is phenyl. So this product will be formed here. Now they have asked you which type of reaction is this. They can also ask you what is the product that is formed here. Right? So the question is asked in NEE 2020. From a double condensation again. Question was asked in 2020. No, not 20. This question was asked in 22, right? So this is a trending question, right? This is a trending question. Now let us do the next question. That is, the reaction that does not give benzoic acid as the major product here, right? Which does not give the benzoic acid as the major product here. Hmm, benzoic acid as the major product here. What is the benzoic acid as the major product? See everyone. Benzoic acid. That means you have to get this one as the major product here. This one as the major product here. Yes, but just physical chemistry we have completed yesterday, right? We have completed the PYQs of physical and inorganic yesterday, right? Yes. 
C C C C C. Very good. Okay, this is a mild oxidizing agent. Mild oxidizing agent. Right. This will convert this into aldehyde. Benzaldehyde, not benzoic acid. So this is strong. This is a strong. This will also get converted into this uh, uh, ester. This eth, not ester will get converted into. Sorry, this ketone will get converted into further oxidizing it. This will get converted into benzoic acid. Right. This is the strong oxidizing agent. So it will convert into again. This is a strong oxidizing agent. Again, this will convert it into benzoic acid. So answer is going to be C. This was asked in 2019. We just saw two questions on oxidizing agents, right? In the latest years, in the latest years. And these are the selected questions. These are the selected questions. You will see these questions are repeated in your PYQs. The major product of the following reaction is the major product, bacha. Very important. Here also they can ask you one main naming reaction. The product here is the reactant of one very important naming reaction. The naming reaction is Gabriel phthalamide, right? That is for one degree amines for the formation of one degree amines. So the answer here is C is the correct answer. And how it is formed? Firstly, the OH is replaced by NH2, NH2, and after that, after strong heating, this is eliminated, and then you will get this particular thing that is called. A phthalamide. This is called phthalamide. Okay, so C is the correct answer here. Next, students, we have from biomolecules we have sucrose on hydrolysis gives beta D glucose, alpha D fructose, alpha D glucose, beta D fructose, alpha D glucose, beta D fructose. So two things, same things here. Okay, this is fructose, this is glucose. So this is not the correct answer. This is not the correct answer. Now whether it's beta D glucose and alpha D fructose or it is alpha D glucose and beta D fructose. What is the correct answer? Right, what is the correct answer? Alpha D glucose and beta D fructose. It gives alpha D glucose and beta D fructose. And also students, they have asked you this question. I will give you another one question that, that they can ask you from this one. That is, when you have sucrose, when you have sucrose, on hydrolysis, on hydrolysis students, it gives glucose and it gives fructose, right? Okay? And but always remember, this is dextrorotatory, this is levorotatory. And the rotation of levorotatory is around 92 and dextrorotatory is around 30 or something, I guess. I don't remember it clearly. This is more than that. Okay, the fructose is more. Also, that is not going. They are not going to ask you that. So here, what happens? Here, this sucrose is dextrorotatory. That means this is positive. Okay, this uh, rotates the pain polarized right in the right direction. This rotates in the left direction. So the product is going to be the direction is going to change from dextro to levo to levo. Right? Because the levo rotation is more than the dextro rotation. That is why we say this is invert sugar. This is also called invert sugar. So they can also ask you question from the invert sugar part. Right? They can also ask you question from the invert sugar part. That this is getting inverted. What is that sugar that is getting inverted? Why that is getting inverted? There can be big assertion reasoning question from this one that you call sucrose as an invert sugar. Why? What is the reason? The reason is that I have also done the assertion reasoning question based on this. They can, you know, confuse you on this. Okay. There will be two statements. Now tell me which statement is correct. Now tell me which statement is correct. They can ask you two statements. First statement here can be that fructose is more, fructose product is more, or you say levo product is more, levo product is more. Levo product is more, or you can say Levo rotation is more, which is the correct statement. This is the first statement, this is the second statement. Easily, easily they can confuse you on this, and trust me on that, students will get confused in this two statement because they know that Levo is more, Levo product is more. Or levo rotation is more. Which is which is more? Right? Which is more? Everyone here? Yes? 
Yes, students. Yes, there is inversion here. Why there is inversion in this case? Why there is inversion in this case? Yes, second statement is correct. First statement is wrong. Why? Because the lever, it's not like fructose product is more. They are saying the rotation, the lever rotation is more as compared to dextro rotation. So second statement is correct. First statement is incorrect. Okay, second statement is correct. First statement is incorrect statement. Right? So we need to be prepared of everything that they can ask you. We need to be prepared of everything here. Right? So, which is which of the following is a basic amino acid? Now, you have amino acid has two groups, NH2 and it has COH group. It also forms vitarine. They can also ask you about this vitarine, right? It forms vitarine, right? Another thing that why vitarine is formed because this H positive is accepted by this NH2, the lone pair of this NH2. That is why it forms vitarine. Right, okay, yes students, so zwitter ion is formed here. Now if the NH2 is more, the NH2 group is more, that is basic amino acid. If COH group is more, that is the acidic amino acid. If equal number of NH2 and COH, that is neutral amino acid. So what is going to be the correct answer? Very good, lysine is going to be the correct answer. Very important, but now if you cannot remember all the amino acids, if you cannot remember all the amino acids, okay, fine. At least remember the amino acids that are asked in your PYQs. You should know the structure of all these four amino acids that are asked in your PYQs. You should know the structures which is acidic, which is basic because they are not going to repeat the same question. They will repeat the question related to this, okay? They are going to repeat the question related to this one, okay? So here you see it has... 2 NH2 group and 1 COH group. That means it is a basic amino acid. Next question. The non-essential amino acid among the following. The non-essential amino acid among the following students. Which is the non-essential amino acid? Lysine, valine, leucine and alanine. What is non-essential amino acid? I have also given you my handwritten notes. Right. So essential amino acid is that amino acid that our body do not produce we require it from outside right non-essential amino acid is that that our body is able to produce we do not require it from outside environment that is why we say this is a non-essential amino acid so out of this which is a non-essential amino acids non-essential amino acid students leucine okay Aha, uh -huh, you guys are deleting your answers here. You guys are deleting your answers here. Belly. Synthesized by a body are non-essential. Yes, very good. These are non-essential. So the answer is alanine. Okay. So all these are, uh, all these are uh, essential amino acids. Okay. All these are essential amino acids that are not produced by the body. But alanine is produced by our body. That is produced by our body. That is non-essential amino acid. Right? Okay. So guys, this is, uh, you know, something that is also in your bio. Right? Biomolecules are also in your bio. So there are high chances they are going to ask you questions related to this. If they, if talking about J means or advanced, they they don't give much importance to biomolecules, but in chemistry, in because of uh, that is also included in your bio part. That is why this is giving much importance here, right? That is why it is given much importance here. Now, next question is which structure of proteins remains intact during denaturation process? Which structure of protein remains intact? during denaturation what is denaturation students that is the they can also ask you the change in pH okay this is change in pH this is change in pH that is the denaturation so we have four structures primary secondary tertiary quaternary right we have four structures here the complexity tends to increase here amino acids are formed from peptide bonds they are uh, uh, amino acids i'm saying proteins are formed from uh, linkage of amino acids 
by peptide bonds right so the primary structures remains intact even if we denature that the primary structure is not changed okay remains intact that is primary structure do not change primary structure remains intact secondary structure change tertiary change right quaternary change all these structures get destroyed right what is primary primary is the peptide bonds one amino acid other amino acid that is a peptide bond what is for example so she can example that we are talking about i have combined two pens here that is peptide bond okay that is i have combined two pens here that will be this is going to be peptide bond okay this is going to be peptide bond this is going to be peptide bond and when so many amino acids are connected with peptide bond that is called primary now what is secondary structure when you have one primary and the other primary structures that are connected to each other right that is the secondary structure right for example that are uh, connected somewhere right then what is the tertiary structure tertiary structure is that structure when these peptide bonds that this peptide bonds for primary when the secondary structure is further connected right and it gives a tertiary structure that right? the complexity is going to get increase and increase right okay yes students like tertiary structure is uh, for example when we talk about uh, uh, globular and fibrous proteins these are the tertiary structures right okay yes Ma'am, P block syllabus is confusing. Don't worry, bacha. Don't worry. After the class, after the end of this session, I'll tell you about P block. What are the things that you need to do for P block? Okay, don't worry about that. Now, which of the following reactions will not give primary amine as a product? Which of the following reactions will not give primary amine as a product? Okay. Which will not give primary amine as the product will not give. Okay, this is how they confuse. Need two thousand twenty three question, last year question. Let us see which of the following product does which of the following reaction does not give primary amines as the product, right? This is BR. Okay, there will be uh, this is a Hoffman bromide reaction. Okay, Hoffman bromide reaction is going to give you. CH three. This is going to be CH three NH two, right? Okay. Then here there will be reduction here. This is going to be CH three, CH two, NH two. There will be reduction because C triple bond N will be reduced here. There will be addition of hydrogen here, right? Here it will be. This is isocyanide, right? There will be reduction again. This is CH three. This is NH two. This is CH. Of course, this is giving us. Secondary, right? This is going to be the correct answer, right? Then you have LAH again. This is going to get get reduced here, right? Okay, so all these things are giving us. This is also going to give us primary, right? Okay, so secondary amine is given by C part, which of the following is not going to give us primary? That is C part. That is going to give us secondary amines here, right? Okay, students. Yes. Next question here is identify the everyone here. Identify the everyone here. Identify the compound that will react with Hinzberg reagent. Identify that compound which is reacting with Hinzberg reagent. As I told you, 2021 question questions are asked from Hinzberg reagent. Get the easiest question. Easiest question. Yes. Let us see what is the correct answer to this. Identify the correct answer that will react with Hinzberg reagent to give a solid which dissolved in alkali. That is dissolved in alkali. That is NH4OH. So let us see which is the correct answer here. Which is the correct answer here? Yes, everyone. Very good. Yes, bacha. Very good, Suma. Very good. Now focus on this question. No, this is not the correct answer. Uh, this is uh, secondary amine. This is tertiary amine, and this is one degree amine. Okay. So what about Hinzberg reagent? Students have answered this correctly. That is one degree amine. The the question that can be asked you is Hinzberg reagent is with one degree amine. It gives it gives a product that is alkali soluble. That is alkali soluble product. Right. 
with 2 degree it gives alkali insoluble it gives alkali insoluble product right with 3 degree I mean it do not react it do not react does not react with 3 degree amines right so they can ask you any question here based on anything here 1 degree 2 degree or 3 degree right okay question can be asked from 1 degree 2 degree or 3 degree or simply they can ask you the product or ask you the reaction here so this is your bacha hinsberg reagent what actually happens here in the when you have 1 degree you know this 1 degree has 3 has 2 hydrogens right 1 degree has 2 hydrogens so here there will be Elimination of HCl here and you will get this product and the product that is formed from 1 degree will have 1 hydrogen here that is why it is soluble in alkali and when we talk about 2 degree when we talk about 2 degree so this is SOCl right when we talk about 2 degree for example I have for example I have NH and this is R and this is R right now here there will be elimination of this HCl and you will get this product and you will get this kind of product that is S double bond this double bond O and this is N this is R and this is R right now can you see is there any hydrogen here there is no hydrogen that is why it is insoluble that is why it is insoluble in alkali that is why it is insoluble in alkali so they can also ask you questions like this right they can also ask you why assertion reasoning again why this is so you should know the answer right this is very important while doing pyqs again i am repeating what students do ma'am i don't know why i am not able to clear me i have done ncrt i have done pyqs the reason you know what the reason the students are doing these things in a very wrong manner they are doing pyqs but they are not using their brains they are just doing this question that this question was asked but so you have to know everything around that question that is the use of doing PYQs that is why we say PYQs are important if you do in the right way when you talk about NCRT just going through NCRT doesn't matter all those many students go through NCRT so what is the difference that you have to make you have to decode NCRT in the right manner so what are the questions that can be formed you have to focus on the tables in inorganic chemistry that is how questions are made right so these are the things that that is the difference between a topper and someone who did all the hard work and is not able to clear meat. Right? That is the biggest difference. Right? From my experience, I am telling you that is the biggest difference. It's not that the one who is not able to clear meat is not doing hard work. It's just about the right thing that they are doing. It's about the right thing that you do at the right time. Right? It's about the right thing at the right time. So this is NEET 2020 question. Which of the following amines gives the carbylamine test? Carbylamine or they can ask you isocyanide test. That is given by primary amines. That is given by primary amines. One more thing about carbylamine. Till you give your answer, I will give you one more thing about carbylamine. That here dichlorocarbene is formed that is CCL2 is formed this is formed as the intermediate here this is formed as a elect not intermediate it is formed as a electrophile here they can ask you which is the electrophile in carbylamine reaction that is dichlorocarbene is the electrophile in the carbylamine reaction and this electrophile was also in the reamer teamer reaction so so in the reamer teamer reaction okay so this is how questions are formed from your pyqs only right so the answer is going to be one degree amine is uh, which of the following gives one degree so one degree one degree one degree so this is the one degree amine here a is going to be the correct answer here right everyone now the correct order of the basic strength 2019 question everyone basic strength of methyl substituted amines in aqueous solution methyl substituted amines in aqueous solution everyone two important things from here ethyl substituted and methyl substituted right when they are talking about gaseous it's very easy when they talk about aqueous 
Here you have to know methyl substituted or alkyl uh, or ethyl substituted. For methyl substituted, you have, you have, you have very good. Two, one, three. I'll just give you one trick about that is from methyl substituted. For methyl substituted, you have two, one, three. Okay, that is two, one, three. For ethyl substituted, you have one, two, three. Not uh, for ethyl substituted, you have two, three, one. Right? For ethyl substituted, you have two, three, one. Yes, everyone. For ethyl substituted, what do you have? Two, three, one. Right? So the answer is going to be two, one, three for methyl substituted. Focus this. Here they have asked you about methyl substituted. This was NEE 2019 question. If this question repeats, they can ask you about ethyl substituted. Right? They can ask you about methyl. Uh, yes, very good. Very good. Very good. Methyl is 231. Ethyl is 213. Uh, sorry. Methyl is 231 and ethyl is 231. Oh, 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 oh. Methyl is 213 and ethyl is 231. Right? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. So all the students. Okay. These are the little things that makes the big difference in your preparation. The amines that reacts with Hinsberg reagent to give alkali insoluble product. That means they are talking about two degree amine. They are talking about two degree amine here. So when we talk about two degree amine, bacha. When we talk about 2 degree amine, what is going to be the correct answer here? When we talk about 2 degree amine, the correct answer is going to be this is, uh, this is connected to, to this, this is 2 degree amine, this is connected to 3, this is 1 carbon, that is further connected to 3, 1, right, okay, that is going to be 1 degree amine, right, okay, so this is connected to again 3, that is 3 degree amines, this N is connected to just 1, that is 1 degree we are finding out the two degree amine. That is, A is going to be the correct answer. Right? A is going to be the correct answer. Right? Okay. Okay, G. Very good, bacha. Next, we have, the next question is, 2022 question. That is, given below are two statements. We have two statements here. Given below are two statements. Statement number one is, Primary aliphatic amines react with HNO2. This is, as, as I told you, two question basicity, nitrous acid, Hinsberg. Right? These are the three trends that they are focusing on. Right? So, statement number one is primary aliphatic amines react with HNO2. Primary aliphatic amines, bacha, that reacts with HNO2 to give unstable disonium salt. Primary aliphatic amines react with nitrous acid to give unstable disonium salt. That is true. It gives unstable disonium salt. That means, students, in nitrous acid, there are two very important things for your need exam. That is, aliphatic amines, they both give, see, we will talk about aliphatic, that will give N2Cl. So, it's a very unstable thing. So, it will directly, without even warming or anything, this will directly give you N2. This will, this N2 is very unstable. This will directly give you N2, right? But when we talk about aryl, okay, when we talk about aryl, disonium salt, when there is aromatic, right? In that case, this is stable as compared to that. This is stable as compared to, as compared to alkyl, this is more stable. But otherwise it is also unstable, but as compared to alkyl, it is stable. So it is not going to give us N2 directly. We will have to warm it, otherwise it will only give N2 after that. Primary aromatic amines react with HNO2 to give disonium salt, which are stable even above. No, they are not stable above this much. Because you know, when you heat it, when you heat it, right, they are stable at 0 to 5 degrees Celsius only. The temperature required whenever you use disonium salt, you always write it here 0 to 5 degrees Celsius. That means 273 to uh, add on 5 here, 278 Kelvin. Right? Okay. So you write it here. The AR, that is disonium salt, aromatic disonium salt is stable at this temperature. This is only stable between this temperature. This is not, if you heat it, it will produce N2. 
if you heat it if you warm it above 5 degrees it will give you it will give you n2 here right above see above above 5 degrees celsius it will going to it is going to give you n2 here that is the main difference between aliphatic and aromatic it just gives n2 here it is very unstable this is stable at this temperature so here what we write here that this is the false statement so statement 1 is correct statement 2 is incorrect so c is going to be the correct answer here yes students c is going to be the correct answer here yes okay where bacha where there should be roh oh okay you are talking about warming it i am not here i am not warming it beta c this is converted to roh when i am using warm water here right when i am using warm water here then it is converted to roh right here i am not using anything here I am not using anything. It's like it is formed. Allyl, uh, uh, this is the allyl group. Allyl or you can say primary aliphatic disonium salt is formed. And here I am not doing anything. I am not adding warm water or anything here. Okay. So when you add warm water, it will give you phenol. It will give you alcohol. And when you add warm water to this one, it will give you phenol here. Right. Okay. Yes, beta. Understood. Uh... Santi Moe Pandu understood? Yes, Bacha. Okay, good, good. Very good. So, all these kind of doubts you can ask here. Okay. Don't get hesitate that okay, ma'am, we will not ask you doubt or anything. Because if you ask doubt, that is the benefit of being in the live session. Okay, I never ignore your questions or I never I at least try my best to, you know, take all the questions, right? So, you can ask doubt here. All the questions, there should be no doubt that should be left after the session. Right? Identify the incorrect snatch. So, students, there are 2-3 questions that were left from your P-block. Let us do that. From your, uh, not P-block, from your periodic classification. Right? So, let us do these 4-5 to five questions here. After that, session is completed. Right? And I'll come up with more practice questions for you. After analyzing the PYQs, we have made more questions for you and we'll come up with those questions as well. Right? But you just need to stay tuned with us. Right? Okay? So identify the incorrect match here. You have Arnanil. See students, they never ask you question from nomenclature of the compounds. Never they ask you question. But in 2020 and also in 2021 uh, or 2, maybe, maybe 19, they've asked you one more question based on this. Just two questions. In the entire last 30 years, just two questions are asked from this. So, I would advise you, you should know what is un, nil and this, all these. Okay? Why I'm saying you, what is nil? Nil means zero. Un means one. Right? So, this is the NCRT table that you should go through. And if they, if you ask him, ma'am, should we remember the common names also? So, that is totally your choice. To all the students who don't know anything, now they are not very, you know, they have not done P-blog, they have not done anything, they, they should have good advice. If you are like confident, like you have done everything, like everything is like on point. Then you go for this. Then you cram this table. If you are, you know, very uh, hesitant of cramming things, I would advise you, this is very less chance that they ask you this question. Even if they ask you this question, you can lose on that mask, right? But do remember these four groups. Do remember these four, okay? Do remember the uh, atomic number of these four compounds, right? Why so? Why I am saying this? Because at least, at least you should know the PYQs of these, okay? Otherwise, it's a big table. If you want to, you know, go through that, you can definitely go through that. Okay? Yes? Okay. So, bacha, see, un nil em means 1, 0, un nil un. That is 1, 0, 1. Un nil trim means 1, 0, 3. Un nil hex means 1, 0. Hex means 6. Okay? Un means 1. Nil means 0. Hex means 6. Un, 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 unium. Un, un, unium. So, this is 1, 1, 1. So, 1, 0, 1 is Mendelevium. 1, 0, 3 is Laurentium. 1, 0, 6 is Sebo, 
Seborgium. But 111 is not Dharma Stadium. Okay, so weird names. Why scientist? Why you have done to us? Right? So D is going to be the incorrect answer here. Right? D is going to be the incorrect statement here. So answer is going to be for an onion. An onion, bacha, that is called rotangium. Okay? That is called rotangium. Always remember these four. Okay? Do remember these four. An onion is called rotangium. Yes? Okay? Yes. Now, bacha, last question of today. For the second period elements, the correct order of increasing, increasing first order ionization and thalapy. First order of ionization and thalapy. So, see, the, see, the size is along the period, this is down the group. Along the period, size, see, along the period, size decreases. Always remember this one thing. That is, fluorine is the smallest element in the entire product table. If you know that, you know fluorine is placed here, that means size is getting reduced here, right? So here, if the hair size is getting reduced, hair size will increase, right? So size decreases and ionization energy is inversely proportional to size, that means ionization energy increases. Now we know that this is Lepe Bakno Fani, right? This is along the period, Lepe Bakno Fani. Okay, so now here the difference is in this part. There is the difference here. Instead of NO, it is ON. It is increasing like ON. Why so? What is the reason? Can anybody tell me the reason? The answer is we lay, be, buck, no, funny, not. It will be ON. That is C is going to be the correct answer. Why so? Because, bacha, when we talk about nitrogen, no, that is 7 atomic number, that is 1s2. 2s2, 2p, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. That means here you have half filled orbital. Here you have half filled orbital. And you know ionization energy, if there is half filled or fully filled, it is very difficult to take out the electron here. That is why the ionization of energy of nitrogen is more, slightly more than the oxygen here. That is why here we see the exceptional trend. Okay, here we see the exceptional trend. Yes, students, very good. Very good, students, very good. So, I am going to come up with a lot of questions, lot of questions of inorganic chemistry, especially from block chemistry, from DNF block and P block. That is based on the exceptions because I know the pain, the pain point is the exceptions, remembering the exceptions and I am going to make it very simple, very easy for you. Very simple, very easy. Right? So lots of things are coming for you. I am planning, I am working day and night. All the things are coming for you. Right? So match the following. I think this is the last question. Yes, this is the last question that you have. Right? So students, match the oxide given in column 1 with its properties. Right? With its properties. So we know that, we know that N2 is neutral. This is amphoteric. Right? This is amphoteric. This is amphoteric. Right? So, oh, oh, oh. so this metal, this will form basic and this will form acidic, right? So you'll say Na2, Na2O, that, that forms basic, right? First is B, first is B, first is B. Second forms amphoteric, second is D. Third forms neutral, that is A. And fourth form acidic, that is C. So D is going to be the correct answer here. Right, so D is going to be the correct answer here. Yes, everyone, D is going to be the correct answer here. Yes, students, and hence we have completed PYQs here, okay? We have completed organic chemistry PYQs as well. Now, students, regarding the PYQs, for your last 2000, from 2004 to 2023, that means 20 years PYQs and Bacha, I am telling you, last, if you do last 20 years PYQs religiously, you will be able to solve the questions. Like, why? Because the questions, you will see there is a trend that is, basically they are following in that, right? So, so, no question is skipped. All the questions from all the, all the codes and all the phases are taken here, right? And Bacha, how you can get this? How you can get this? 
you can get this bachcha wait 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 you can get this from the these are our airs right these are all india rank and i want you to be here right this is 2280 not 2000 281 rank all india 281 rank all india 303 rank right the score is your dream score 700 right and these are our students i also want you guys to be on this frame some day right we want you to be here some day so wait 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 uh, okay just give me a minute students just give me a minute just give me a minute because you should know how to get that how to get pyqs right okay Wait, wait, wait. Hmm. Yes. So everyone, fire in the chat box. We have completed PYQs, and I'm coming up with lots of things from you, right? So guys, see this. Okay, see this. Now you have. Wait, wait, wait. Need PYQs? Click on this. Need PYQs? You will be directed to this link here on the Amazon. Very simple way to purchase this, right? Okay. So that is free delivery at nine hundred rupees. You will get the book that is physics, chemistry, and biology three. All the three books here, right? That is a very like minimal price, right? So just buy it like you buy things for you, right? Okay. Just buy it. I took out a buy it and then purchase it. Okay. That is a uh, cash on delivery option is available to you. Don't worry about that. Yes, just click on this link. Just click on this particular link. Need PYQs? Click on this link and you will get the answer. Right? Okay, everyone. And for all the students who are preparing for NEET 2024, for you, you have the crash course here. Right? The crash course. Just apply the code that is DKCC and you will get the crash course for two thousand rupees. That is that includes Tatva PDFs. All the students who are solving Tatva PDFs ask then how important that is for you. You will get Tatva PDFs. You will get summary notes. You will get uh, uh, assignments. Every single chapter assignment. You will get the sessions. Every single session, all the chapters, according to the reduced syllabus, you will get the answers, and you will get seventeen mock tests, and you will get twenty. No, no, you will get twenty mock tests and seventeen practice tests. Right, twenty mock tests and seventeen mock uh, practice tests, and now is the best time to purchase this. At two thousand rupees, this is not. Oh, I have to buy this. This is investment for your future. Right, the investment that you do for your future. Right, we are also here. We have also learned something. We have also invested in things. Right, that is why we are here. Right, so I am telling you, when you invest in good things, now that thing is going to give you return here. Right, so always remember, money is very precious. And when you see that you have value for that money, when you are giving someone money and you are getting more value out of it, then you should always go for that. You guys are very lucky that you are getting all these things just for two thousand rupees. In my time, in two thousand rupees, nothing was there. Like it was like thirty to forty thousand crash course for one month. Ah, two thousand is we can never imagine that. The sixteen-year-old me would be shocked after seeing seeing this. That okay, two thousand rupees? Are you getting giving everything here? So yeah, you guys are actually very lucky. In your generation, there's one thing. The thing is that. If you guys, you have see, your generation has internet, digital media, which can be good for you, which can be bad for you. Good for you in a manner that you are getting, you know, study material, everything. Either that is free of cost, or or that is at a very minimal cost, right? Or what you can do, you can, you know. Go to stupid. Uh, you you know you can uh, download stupid games at this point of time. You can do anything. You can scroll reels all day. You can you know uh, you can just uh, screw your life by this digital media, or you can make your life by this digital media. The choice is yours. And I am telling you, when you are choosing the other path, that is making your life from this digital media. 
no one can stop you and if you go into another zone that is you know some here you will see some are spammers who come here and they say this and that things about teachers about students they fight a lot so what this this reflects this reflects two kind of students here one students who is taking advantage that ma'am is teaching here for free right we are here sitting at home it's 9 pm right you cannot go to any tuition or anything you are sitting at home totally for free you are getting best quality content they are taking advantage of that that i have to take advantage what if the other student is taking advantage no i have to get the seat and the other student is spamming the other student is distracting the other students as well right so what does this reflect that student is not going to make anything in life and the student who is taking advantage of this free knowledge he is going to he or she is going to make the life he he or she is going to be 100% sure that student is going to be successful that is for sure because that students know how to do hard work right how to not get distracted when you know the art right now in uh, my father's age my father's time or your grandparents time at that point there was no uh, tv or anything it was very easy for them to study the competition was very less only those students were get to get to study who have money right now the education is free that is why competition is high because everyone is getting that free education second thing is that students everyone is getting that education every one is getting that skills from youtube from sim simple simple courses that are very at very minimal cost right and the second thing is they have distraction now who is taking advantage who can fight distraction is going to rise and the who who is getting distracted who who is not able to take advantage of this knowledge is going to ruin his life ruin totally yeah so it just depends on you what you have to do for your life you are going to make your life you are going to you know ruin your life it's just your choice right so i just pray for every one of you you have dedicated this whole day for pyqs of physics and chemistry and students if you are here you are with us we are give you going to give you the best content here right trust me on that teachers gopika ma'am baswa sir shreya sir me we are working day and night we are you know uh, taking the analysis of pyqs and thinking that what is the best thing that students need right now so all of you do write it in the comment section what are the things that you are lagging behind what are the mistakes that you are making out of this session out of this session of pyqs tomorrow also there will be pyqs of biology that is going to be the fourth day of pyqs do write it in the comment section in physics or chemistry especially in chemistry i would like to know that what are the things that you are doing mistake in what are the things that you want me to take up right i want as you say as the demand is as the supply you demand and we supply right so you demand what are the things that you want from us what are the things that you are lagging behind we will surely make those things easy for you right okay so now we know this is an online course this is an online session but no my try is always that i don't want students to feel that i am very far away from them i just want all of you to feel that i am very near to you i am just one text one text away i am just one comment away comment your whatever you are feeling right now you are feeling anxious you are feeling depressed you are feeling you know losing hope or anything you are feeling just write it in the comment section and i also go, i will also go live on the telegram channel maybe tomorrow i'll go live on the telegram channel i'll update you on that and we will discuss about things we will discuss about the things that you feel right okay that will be a very good session i'm also going to give you one uh, so very less students know that i have also I, i was a very i was very fond of yoga right so i knew few things that can help you to have more relaxed mind that is not not going to give you like okay do this asan do that asan no 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 i am simply going to give you some pranayams one or two pranayams that are going to help you to make your to for this mind to get relaxed to have your much stability of this mind to have more concentration so that will be a very heart to heart conversation that we will have let us fix the time let us fix the time let us fix the time tomorrow 9 pm on telegram channel 
on telegram channel i am going to fix the time here i want to talk to all of you like i'll unmute you let's talk let's talk about what you are feeling let's talk about how to control that stress how to control that anxiousness i want all of you i don't want that student who is scoring 650 in mock test to reduce to 500 or 550 because he or she was very anxious in the exam that hurts a lot because the students who are doing hard work i don't want them to lose on marks because they are very anxious and they were very stressed they got panicked in the exam hall so to for that stress management we'll have chit chat tomorrow and trust me on that i am not going to give you motivational speech or anything yes i'll definitely motivate you but also i'm going to give you simple logical things that you should do in these 30 days that are going to manage your stress right talking from someone who has they uh, done yoga in past 10 years i'll give you just one to two hours pranayams that you will do by sitting only you will do the pranayams and we'll have that chit chat on telegram and trust me you are going to love it after one month you will thank me that ma'am thank you so much because no institute no one is going to teach you this thing no one you know we teach you we teach you chemistry we teach you biology we teach you physics right but we also feel that we need to teach you how to manage stress for that stress management everyone do join the session tomorrow 9 pm on telegram right okay everyone yes so let us uh, we'll talk to you tomorrow at 9 pm collect all the things that you are feeling we'll talk about all the things in person not in person i would say face to face face time what i'm saying face to face why i'm saying face to face but that is also face to face no video call is only face to face so we'll talk about things and i'll unmute you and uh, we'll talk about you know heart to heart conversation regarding whatever you're feeling right now it okay okay then bye bye take care see you all tomorrow at 9 pm on telegram channel that is neat english telegram channel see you all tomorrow bye bye take care